blessed moment to our fellow believers in the Messiah. As we take this time to acknowledge the Creator of heaven and earth, through His blessed Son, the Messiah, we give Him thanks for His Holy Spirit that assures us that we belong to Him. We give praise to the Creator, the One who sits on the flood, and sits King forever. He gives strength to His people, blesses His people with peace. Sing to the Messiah, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. For His anger endures but for a moment, and in His favor is life. Be glad in the Almighty Creator, and rejoice, you righteous ones. Shout for joy, all you that are upright in heart. For His mercy is in the heavens, and His faithfulness reaches to the clouds. His righteousness is like the great mountains, and His judgments are a great deep. O Creator, you preserve both man and beast. How excellent is your loving kindness. Amen. Humbly, we continue to focus on what the Creator is doing in our time, so that, while abiding by His principles and commands, we may have our testament in our time. In today's lesson, we want to highlight the events that surrounded the birth of the Messiah, Son of the Almighty Creator. The birth of the Messiah, as will be highlighted, was not an ordinary one. It was a highly spiritual event that took place before conception, during conception, and after his birth. As believers, let's not treat with scant regard this significant event that is at the foundation of our belief in him. The prophet Isaiah foretold the type of woman that would give birth to the Messiah in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 where he said therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel other prophets foretold the exact country that he would be born in as well as the drama that would unfold as a result of his birth let's proceed with the event that unfolded when the angel Gabriel visited this woman during her cousin's sixth month of pregnancy Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and the angel came in unto her and said hail thou that art highly favored the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25 Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately, but while he thought on these things, behold, 
the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days, that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made, when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 now when jesus was born in bethlehem of judea in the days of herod the king behold there came wise men from the east to jerusalem saying where is he that is born king of the jews for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him when herod the king had heard these things he was troubled and all jerusalem with him and when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not the least among the princes of Judea. For out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to bethlehem and said go and search diligently for the young child and when ye have found him bring me word again that i may come and worship him also when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 20 and there were in the same country judea shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, 
and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 to 23. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, Lamentation, and weeping, and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose, and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Luke chapter 2, verse 21 to 38. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. And, behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost, that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms, and blessed God, and said, Lord, now let thou your servant to depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one, Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about sixty-four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she, coming in that instant, gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spoke of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. Thanks for listening. 
We truly hope that this lesson about the Messiah's birth ministered to you in a very special way. Remember to share this lesson with a fellow believer and encourage them to subscribe to our channel for other inspiring lessons. Have a blessed day.